Thanks, everybody, for joining today. Kyle Sauer Siemens is giving a presentation on the digital thread for Siemens solution offering, specifically focusing on the manufacturing capabilities of the digital thread and the Siemens product line. Okay. Thank you, Chris, uh, and thank you, all the attendees. Um, let's walk through the concept of digital transformation. So companies are fa facing huge transformation in, this, in these days in the way they are managed, in the way they produce product, and in the way they even think about a new product. So it's a very complex transformation that is called the uh, uh, digitalization of their processes and uh, is obviously a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. And um, uh, all the digital leaders know that uh, technology is important, but is not enough to succeed in this, in this transformation. So Siemens, as a, a, a vendor, has a very um, structured and, and consolidated software suite to face this digitalization concept. It is uh, the digital enterprise suite, and it goes from the very first step when a, a product is uh, conceived and is uh, designed, how the factory will be engineered and how it will be executed. All this software suite is the uh, uniqueness of the value proposition of Siemens in this field. Of course, this is not enough. I mean, technology we have seen is important. Siemens has a complete solution, but to really um, add value to its customers, Siemens decided to bring it to the market uh, together with its alliances like Hylasoft is. So uh, joining the uh, technology leadership with uh, a, a real M MOM practice a strong uh, practice in delivering MOM solution. In this way, we can bring our customers, joint customer to success. Let's see a little more in detail what is this software suite. So uh, you can see a lot of buzzwords, buzzwords very common in, the, in these days. Uh, mobility, Internet of Things, and cloud that gives you the ability to be always connected and to have smart devices can take decision or perform actions and the virtually unlimited computing capability. But what it means when you bring this into the shop floor? Well, it means that you can unify your application and your solutions on a unique uh, platform. So you are able to scale your application from a small functional footprint to a large functional foot footprint adding functionalities or starting from a small uh, area of your plant and then extend into the entire plant. Then the user experience, this is an essential part. Uh, the, the shop floor creates a, a huge amount of data, and this is the ability to aggregate those data at different level of granularity or providing different contexts in such a way it is uh, a set of KPIs that are actionable from a line operator, a maintenance manager, up to VP of operation. And the integration of the PLM and the manufacturing is a huge differentiator. Siemens is the only company who can provide a closed loop manufacturing concept. And of course, uh, focusing on the execution of the business processes. That means uh, really focusing on how a product is produced. Uh, obviously, this didn't happen overnight, so Siemens had a very long-term strategy with a holistic approach of uh, internal investment or external acquisitions in order to grow entire, um, along the entire uh, value chain in this uh, product definition, production, execution, and shipment to the market. Um, here we have a quick view of how the uh, digital enterprise suite is composed, the various components that goes along this value chain, and in particular on the execution area where the MES uh, is, is relevant, we have a pretty um, 
concentration of all the components that make up the value proposition. So how all this is possible? Um, as we have seen, there is the leadership technology, leadership of Siemens, and this is brought to the market together with, uh, uh, with uh, alliances, strategic alliances, and the container, the vehicle of doing this is MIAC. MIAC stands for MOM Expertise Alliance Center, where Siemens brings its technology and products, and the partners brings their um, uh, MOM practice, their uh, industry focus, their uh, specific skills, their uh, uh, delivery capabilities, their technolo uh, technology capabilities, their consulting uh, skills, and so on. All, this, all those skills are part of the uh, offering of MIAC. And uh, um, uh, obviously, uh, MIAC is not only a container, so Siemens supports its partner to build or grow their, um, their MOM practice through education and leveraging very, very well consolidated uh, processes in order to make smooth the management so, uh, of, the, of the entire, of the entire uh, activities. So MIAC is a, really a strategic uh, approach of Siemens in this field. And uh, MIAC was born around MOM, but of course it has uh, partners belonging to MIAC that have compet competencies also outside the pure MOM space, also in PLM, uh, shop floor, ERP. And Hylasoft is one of these partners who has those competencies uh, available at MIAC. And uh, Hylasoft will have the uh, will show you the capability of integrate your PLM to MES in discrete manufacturing. All right, thank you, Andrea. So my name is Matt Scanlon, and I am the PLM practice manager at Hylasoft. Before we get into our presentation, I would like to give a brief introduction about Hylosoft and what we focus on. Um, so Hylosoft is a systems integrator and partner of Siemens focusing specifically on manufacturing. So although Siemens has many partners in many different areas, we are only focusing on manufacturing PLM and Technomatics suite of products. We started working with Siemens about 20 years ago in the MES space, uh, working with the product Somatic IT. And our headquarters is in Genoa, Italy, which is the same uh, location as the MES headquarters uh, for Siemens. So naturally, we do a lot of work with, uh, with Siemens in that area. Uh, over the years, we've been growing the team and focusing on team center manufacturing and simulation tools in addition to MES uh, technologies. So these are the main areas that we work on today and we focus on. In the US, we are located in downtown Chicago uh, with about 65 consultants focusing on these manufacturing technologies. So let's start by introducing two concepts which you may have heard of already. The first is the phrase, the digital twin. And although the digital twin sounds fancy, it's really nothing more than a digital representation of something that exists in the real world. So for example, a 3D CAD model of a product such as this tractor is the digital twin of the real thing. But the digital twin does not just refer to objects or products, but also processes. A digital representation of a manufacturing process can be considered the digital twin of the real process that happens in the factory. The second concept I want to review is the digital thread. The digital thread is the idea of an organization creating, reusing, and building upon its data, resulting in a seamless flow of data between an organization's systems that until not so long ago, many of these systems were isolated. The digital thread starts with a model-based definition of the product 
This model, as well as other engineering data, can then be used and reused in our production planning, production engineering, and eventually the execution and service of the product. Throughout this presentation, we're going to review the digital thread in action. We'll be using a case study of a scenario that is familiar to many manufacturers, which is the commissioning of a new production line. So we'll show through live demonstrations of various Siemens PLM tools how the digital thread can deliver enormous business value to an industrial manufacturer ramping up a new production line. Now, although we'll be using the new production line scenario as our backdrop, the capabilities and value throughout this demo can be applied to day-to-day -day operations of new production design, engineering, manufacturing planning, and of course the execution. So what is the motivation? Why do, new, why do plants open, um, why do manufacturers open up new plants, new production lines? Certainly there's many possible reasons why they may undertake a project like this. The first is that a company may have a new product or program uh, similar to the use case that we'll be presenting on today. This new product may require new machines or additional space to manufacture that product. Another common reason is simply to expand production capacity in order to meet increased customer demand. And there also may be uh, business reasons to be either closer to your customers or closer to uh, suppliers in order to reduce travel times and be more efficient. And anyone that has ever been involved with starting up a new facility knows there's many challenges and potential pitfalls. First, there's the tasks of planning the new line layout. So manufacturers have to determine what processes and equipment are required to manufacture or assemble the final product. Then there's the positioning of work centers, machines, the equipment, and the space for people and material to travel. So everybody wants a sensible layout that minimizes non-value-added transportation of the material and people. And there's also a major challenge for the workforce and the people aspect. So it's difficult for operators to adjust and learn how to build a product that they've never seen before. In fact, it's a standard practice during new factory commissioning to account for efficiency loss during the first few months of production as employees are learning how to manufacture the products and new processes are tweaked and refined. So our case study is going to follow the story of a heavy machinery manufacturer opening a new production line in a building being added to an existing facility. So we'll show how the Siemens portfolio enables a digital thread to flow through the various engineering, manufacturing, and industrial planning tasks to open the new line and address the challenges associated with commissioning new production areas. So we'll start with the design of a new product and using the Siemens tools to manage the operations and equipment needed to produce the product. We'll then plan the layout of the line understanding the best way to organize the shop floor and optimize the layout. We'll then take a deeper dive into the individual processes that make up the line and determine where we can find optimizations. Finally, we'll prepare for the go live by looking at the training and production ramp up of the facility. Thank you, Matt. My name is Chris Draska. I'm one of the managers of the Hallisoft. I support both the Manufacturing Engineering Group and Manufacturing Operations Group. This presentation, I'm focusing on Team Center Manufacturing Process Planner and how that works into the digital thread story we're telling now. So as you can see on the left side, we're looking at you have Team Center data, uh, design data. This is what typically most customers are using today with regards to Team Center data management. It's to work with the design engineers, 
to support the, part, the piece parts or the assembly approvals of the products they're making. Our idea is to extend that capability to also support the manufacturing engineering group and how they're actually going to manufacture and or assemble uh, the product. So looking, working inside Team Center Manufacturing Process Planner, we can now extend the capabilities of Team Center to support the manufacturing engineering group. We can ship less and have the manufacturing engineers work sooner and earlier based on released engineering design data or parts to start planning for the potential assembly steps or fabrication steps needed to support this production goal line. And then we can further look at taking the information defined by manufacturing engineer and validating it virtually to understand throughput or the ergonomics of the human interaction performing these tasks well before we even have spent time or money to stand up our physical environment. So we'll be looking at later on the capabilities of manufacturing process planner tied to process simulate as well as plant simulation and last manufacturing or somatic IT, which is the MES component. So everything now is going to start really driving, creating the content to be used for our storyboard within the digital thread for manufacturing solutions. And we'll take a brief moment here to, to look at Team Center Manufacturing and some of the data that we have modeled for this story. Back up. So what we're looking at now is Manufacturing Process Planner, which, which is a component inside Team Center where the Manufacturing Engineering Group would work. 